Just want to get this warning out to everyone. Do not step on an ant or another ant after watching Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Ant-Man is the 12th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, came out in 2015, directed by Peyton Reed, starring Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Douglas, and Michael Pena. The film follows a thief named Scott Lang, played by Paul Rudd, who's trying to redeem himself after getting released from prison. One day, a scientist named Hank Pym, played by Michael Douglas, notices how skillful he is as a thief. So he recruits him as the next Ant-Man to stop some bad things going down at his business. I was excited for this movie back in 2015 when it was coming out. Although I was sad that Edgar Wright, one of my favorite directors, Cornetto Trilogy, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Baby Driver has sadly left Ant-Man due to creative differences and they've chosen Payne Reed, director known for comedies like The Breakup, Yes Man, and now directing a Marvel movie. So I was a little nervous about this movie, and when I saw it, I enjoyed Ant-Man, and I recently rewatched this movie for this review, and I gotta say, I think Ant-Man still holds up even better on rewatch. This is still an entertaining movie, and for me, it's one of my top 10 Favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, I really enjoyed Ant-Man. First, the performances from everyone cast are great. Paul Rudd is the absolute perfect choice as Scott Lang slash Ant-Man. He's funny as always, of course it's Paul Rudd, he's usually very funny, likable, and he's also a very sympathetic character and things are going wrong for him and when he gets some bad stuff after he gets released from prison and when he's trying for redemption and he's trying to support for his daughter it's hard not to feel sorry for a guy and it's really great when something good happens to a man i love paul rudd in this role he nailed it am i the only one that since paul rudd is playing ant-man is like whenever he first shrinked himself whenever he first put on the suit and first shrunk himself and am i the only one who wanted him to say 60 percent of the time it works every time. I don't know, it's probably just me. Evangeline Lilly and Michael Douglas are great. I love the relationship between Hope and Hank Pym. I thought they had a lot of depth to their characters. I thought both of them were terrific in this movie. I have to say, Michael Pena in this movie is absolutely hilarious. One of the funniest Marvel Cinematic Universe characters and thank you. Bring him back in Ant-Man and the Wasp and I especially love his storytelling scenes, that, and those scenes definitely have Edgar Wright's style in them, his editing style, which I thought was very cool, and they were also funny too, and Michael Pena was just absolutely hilarious in this movie. I love the visuals of this movie, like, for example, the first time Scott Lang puts on the suit and first shrinks himself, the surrounding CCs. And the effects in this movie are terrific. I loved how it's like from Ant-Man when he shrinks himself, when he's tiny, and get to see smaller things that are bigger. I love the effects in this movie. And I also thought the climax was a ton of fun, especially the Thomas the Tank Engine set scene, which was also not only funny, but entertaining as well. And now when Ant-Man and the Wasp and in that trailer, Giant Hello Kitty Pez Dispenser. It's just so strange, but I like it so much. And this is a very funny movie. There are great moments of dialogue and great banter between the characters. Scott and Hope, Scott and Hank Pym. There's some great banter in this movie. Or Scott and Louise. Really good banter in this movie. This is a funny movie. Also, I thought the storyline between Scott Lang and his daughter he's trying to care for and I thought it was very touching and I thought I had a lot of heart to this movie. It gave some more depth to Scott Lang's character and I thought it was really well done. Sadly, I only have one problem with Ant-Man and easily with most Marvel movies, it's the villain. Just another generic villain. 
It's just some jerk in a suit. Despite his backstory, which could be interesting potential as a villain, but just not enough to be a really strong villain. Overall, Ant-Man is a ton of fun, funny, entertaining, great characters, also got heart, fantastic effects, cool action. I really enjoyed Ant-Man. It's one of my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movies and I'm gonna give Ant-Man four and a half stars out of five just due to a generic villain, but still, I had a blast with Ant-Man. I can't wait to see Ant-Man and the Wasp this July. I'm really excited for it, one of my most anticipated movies of the summer. I'm really looking forward to it, looking forward to seeing more of these characters. I can't wait, Paul Rudd is perfect in this role, one of the most likely leads in the MCU. If you haven't watched Ant-Man in a while, go rewatch it. It's worth the rewatch, such a fun movie. Almost done with the Marvel Cinematic Universe movie reviews leading up to Infinity War. Two more to go. Next one is Captain America Civil War. Next review. I can't wait. So what do you guys think of Ant-Man? Do you agree? Disagree with me? Let me know below. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new here. It really means a lot. I'm Jack Benner, and look forward to another movie review.